welcome back now. Now we're going to start working on our drawing. So we saw the project. We did all the information we worked on over here. Again, just make sure that you are working with these two templates, with the model Imperial and ACE, the AEC sheet, Imperial CTB, and make sure we're doing 24 by 36. You can always change it later on, but just so everybody on the same page, continue that way. Now we're going to move on to the constructs. So, <coughs> sorry, we're going to start putting, start building column grids. So creating column builds for our building. So we're going to go to our elements. We're going to right click and do new element. So inside here, this is where we're going to have our references. That's where we're going to use our elements for. We're going to put our grids, which are going to be used for the first floor, second floor. Depending on how many floor your building has, these grids will be on every one. We're going to go now for our description, right click elements, and we're going to type in for the name, column, grid, elements, and we're going to see now it's already set, imperial again. Okay, so once that's done, you type it in, column grid. You can write a description, say grids, whatever you want. It's under elements, and you have it under AEC model Imperial CTB. Now, if I press OK right now, it's going to press OK. It's going to save the file here, but it won't open the drawing. If I want to be able to write a name and say open it right away, I have to click here. And when I press open, it's going to open the drawing right away as soon as I press OK. But just to show you without it, press OK. And it's going to open the sheet over here. It's not hard. I could just double click. And it's going to open up the column grid. You notice right away it keeps the D13 because that's my project name. That's the prefix we set. And it's going to do column grids in front of it. Good. Now that we have it open, we're going to move over the construct. We don't need the project navigator, so I'm going to close it and push it to my other screen. Right? Even the properties, I'll leave it on this side so you guys can see it. Good. So before drawing any grids, the key thing to have are straight lines. So what command do we need to put to make sure we have straight lines is the ortho mode, which is F8. The difference between having ortho on and off is quite simple. This is ortho off. This is ortho on. The line is always going to be 90 degrees. So I click. See, it's always a perfect line. So we're going to erase that. And now, for this to work, it's important that we all have the same start point. Because why do we need the same start point? Because when we start drawing it later on, everything's going to go on top of each other. We're doing 2D to 3D. So by having our start point, for example, at 10, foot, 10 feet, 16 foot 5, everybody should have the same one. Don't just randomly click and start drawing randomly in the drawing. We're going to do it from the points it starts with. So we have the ortho set. We're going to go starting point, it says here. Specify first point. 10 feet, comma, 16 foot 5. Press Enter. And we're going to drag that line horizontally. Now, which way is horizontal, guys? Is it this way or this way? This way, correct? Yes. So we're going to draw it to the right, horizontal. And we're going to type in 76 foot. 10 inches. So you need to make sure you put the foot symbol in, but you don't really need the inches. And press enter, which is going to give us our first line. Once that's done, press enter twice, and we have a line set. The next one we're going to draw is another line, always having ortho on. And our starting point is going to be, again, 16 foot 5, comma, 10 feet, which is going to place it like so. And we're going to go up 44 foot 10 inches. Press enter, enter, and you get it out of the command, or press escape. And like that, you have the first piece. So now we have our horizontal line and our vertical line. Our horizontal line, again, should be a distance of 76 foot 10. And our vertical line going up should be 44 foot 10. And our starting point, the first one should be this location right over here, should be 10 feet, comma, x is 10 feet, y is 16 foot 5. And this one here should be 
X is 16 foot 5 and Y is 10 feet. <coughs> so that. So once you have those two lines set, you should have what you see here. One line, two lines. The next command we could we're going to use, you could either use the array tool, but in this case here I'm going to use the copy tool. And we're going to copy this line here over four times. We're going to do one, two, three times, sorry. And we're going to copy it one at 32 feet, one at 40 feet, and one at 64 feet. So you're going to grab this line over here, use the copy option, copy. From here, you're just going to click and type in 32 feet. You're going to go again, make sure ortho's on, 40 feet. You go again, 64 feet. Okay, so we have them set. We have the lines we did. I repeat, we took the first line we did and we brought it across the vertical line, one at 32 feet, one at 40 feet, one at 64 feet. Once that is completed, we're going to go grab the horizontal line. Select it. Press copy again. Sorry if I'm going fast, but you could pause the video. Do copy. And we're going to grab anywhere in the drawing and go up 11 foot 3. Then we're going to do another dimension, 19 foot 3. And 24 feet. And finally, 32 feet. So now we have all these. We should have one, two, three, four, five horizontal and one, two, three, four vertical. So this is how it should look. This is double check just to make sure. Annotate this line here from oh, I don't have my snaps on, so let's go turn my snaps on. From here to here. We said it was seventy six ten, so that's good. Let's do another dimension from here to here. We said 44 foot 10, so that's good. So we have our, our overall lengths perfect. Now let's go check to see our spacing. From here to here, we said it should be 11.3. From here to here, 9.3. From here to here, 24. From here to here, 32. So let's go double check. We said 11, 3, 19, 3, 24, 32 feet. Perfect. And the last check is to see if it's 32, 40, and 64. From here, we go to this point. This one should be 32. I'm just doing this extra step to show you guys that the numbers are right. But you should double check yourself if you're uncertain if you click the right ones. So we have all the correct dimensions. We're going to re-add those dimensions later on, but for now we're just going to delete them. Once you know they're perfect. Okay, so now that we have this done, I c you could do so as good habit is just hit save once. Why is it that it's not telling you to save a new file? It's because you already put it when you added a new element. By you adding a new element, it's like you added a new file. All right, so now that we have the grid lines, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to use our tool palette. So the tool palette, if you don't have it open, you go home, look here, and you have your design tools. Okay, again, you go to tools, design tool, and it's going to activate this toolbar over here. We're now going to go to, we don't need it to dock, you could dock it if you want. But we're going to go look for the design tool. So we're going to click on the little gearbox and go to design options. From there now we're going to go look for the column grid. So mine is looking like this. Is this the column grid? Right here. So yours might be in text, mine is showing the drawing. So if we could always change that by changing it over here. View options. I could have it with text, list the view, and so forth. Again, if yours looks like this, you could go to the gearbox and go to view options, view options guys, and you go to icon with text. You can make it bigger, smaller, press OK, and it's going to change it so you can actually see what every single thing is. 
again or again like I just showed by accident I had it on pause you could also have it the uh, list view as well now that's done we're gonna go look for where we had before our column grids and we're going to press click on it it's going to load and it's gonna show you this one right over here already built but we don't want that we click too fast so escape that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to column grid, grid sorry and right click on it and from there you're gonna go to apply tools to line work so if you click on it it's automatically gonna give you a grid made and you can adjust it but we don't want that we spent the time and we built the line work so we're gonna go and cl click right click apply tools and click line work once you have that set you're gonna go and choose it to draw it. you're gonna go here now and draw click our line work so just make sure you select everything so I selected all my columns they're all blue go look everything is blue once that is done you press enter now it's asking me the extension how far you want to extend it so we're gonna type in four feet so the extension is gonna be from this point here up so we'll leave it at the standard four feet so press enter it says here erase this, the line work so if you wanted to erase the lines underneath so our sample ones you're gonna press yes to it and like that we have our grids with our grid marks on top good if you would have said no to erasing it your lines would have been doubled you would have had double the lines <coughs> now that that's done we're gonna click on one of the labels like so come on is that wrong one this one here this is how we're gonna go now we click on one and we go to the labels tab and we're gonna go use edit labels like so and we're going to click on the first one the second one the third one the fourth one and we're gonna type in enter and we're gonna type in one by doing so it's gonna do one two three four for us right away again I'll do the same thing for the for the the, the letter one on the side and you'll see how it works so look up again click on the grid go to edit labels from there you're gonna go choose in the same order you want it to write it in so this would be A B C D E press enter and type in the letter A and like that you have A B C D E press enter and you have your grids set with the letters placed alright so like that we have the grid so a good habit can be if you want we can start just have the dimensions here since we already have it we're already here and we could dimension from here to here so what we already done before this is 8 feet this is going to be 24 feet then go over here do the same thing continue it So I'm just adding dimensions to the drawing. And now we're going to add the overall one. This is too high. we don't need to do a double so let's get rid of these guys right now they're identical so we just don't need to put these 
So we have that place. Let's just go make sure now we put them in the right layer. I'm going to make a new layer quickly. A ano grid. Why are we making a new layer? So if ever we have to turn them off or we don't need them, we could freeze it. Again, you open the layers, click right click new, and you have a new layer. Similar to an AutoCAD. Again, it looks clear, but on paper it's going to be black. I typed in LA for layer. I right clicked, new layer. I renamed it, changed the color to yellow. If I don't want yellow and I want a different color, let's say green, press OK. It's going to update it as well. Now that that's done, we're going to save this drawing. We're going to press X, save it, and our drawing is saved. If I were to open up the project browser and look, and I were to open it again, you notice that any changes that I did are still there. Good, so now that that's done, let's close it because we don't need it. All right, good. So now that we've dimensioned them and everything, let's close this file. Save it, obviously, please. And go back to the project browser. So now we were working before with the element. So the element, again, we have our grid. We're going to do the references in there as well. In this case here now, we're going to start drawing. So we're going to go now to Construct, right-click, and we're going to do New Construct. So inside here, we're going to move on. If by any chance you're in a company and it's doing mechanical, electrical, and all that at the same time, then you go New Construct, New Category. You could do it Architectural, whatever you want. It would just be it's just an extra folder. If I do construct again and I type it in, it would just be an added folder. But we don't need that. We're just gonna do a new sorry, not a new category. I could have just put here architecture just to show you. I could do something like that, and then from there I can make a new construct. Doesn't make a difference. The category is just to be more organized. You don't have to add that architecture one. I just did it to show you guys. If you want to practice it, you can make one and then put the folder in there. So now from there, it's important that we're going to follow here. We're going to get this pop-up over here. So this is telling us again for the name, guys. This is telling us for the name. So here would be entry level. All right. Again, we're making sure that our templates, see, because we set the template in the beginning, all the other templates should be perfect. So it's always the same thing. Description. We don't actually really have to put a description, but we have here entry level. The most important thing to do is to go and choose this level here. So choose ground level. Why is it important that we choose this? The reason it's important to choose the ground level is because that's the level we're going to start from. So when I'm drawing, it's going to be pushed to that level. So if I press OK just to show you, and I go look, it's going to start at negative one foot because that's the level I chose. So my drawings are going to be at negative one foot when I start placing them together. Now that I have that done entry level, I'm going to go and open it up. Again, it's a clean, nothing's on there whatsoever. But what, what are we missing from this? I told you guys in the beginning, when, before we start drawing, we need to have the grids. And since we already made the grids, the thing we have to do is we're going to need to reference it into our drawing. So this is a pretty simple one to do. All you guys have to do is just going to attach it. So with it open, you're going to go right click on column grid, and you're going to go type in attach XRAF overlay. And right there, you notice I have my, take off the grids, my reference point that I had before. It's in the exact location that I placed it in the other drawings. This is why I told you it's important to always have the X and Y starting point the same with for every drawing. Some companies will start you at zero, zero each drawing. Some will start you at the numbers we have here. Depending on where you're working and what you're doing with, this is where it comes in handy. 
So now that it's linked, you notice that I have a little icon in the bottom right corner that looks like a paper clip of a piece of paper. That's for the XREFs. I click on it, and this is how I manage my XREFs. If ever you go home or something and it says missing document, this is where you're going to have to find them to choose what's missing and what's not. Okay? You notice that we have our grid as overlay and not attached. When it's attached, it makes the file heavier because it's copying it into your drawing. When it is a overlay, it is just there for reference. So it doesn't weigh down your file whatsoever. So just make sure that it says overlay. If it's not and it says attach, you could change it from attached to overlay in the drawing. The reason it's necessary because when we start building the other levels on top of each other, we need them to have the same reference. That's why we have the reference plane over here and the grids underneath it. Once that is done, you're going to go press Save. And like that, you have your first drawing with an XREF placed. And after the next video, after the break, we're going to start doing our exterior walls. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Share and like.